Let's read the question. Find the equation of locus of P if the line segment joining 2 comma 3 and minus 1 comma 5 substance the right angle at P. So here they're saying the question, there is a right angle triangle to this right angle triangle. The right angle is at P. Okay. Let's take other two sides as A and B. So they gave the coordinates of A and B. Suppose A, it is 2 comma 3 and B that is minus 1 comma 5 is given. So P, we will just take it as X comma 1. Right. So now by using this information that is A coordinate and B coordinate, we should find out the point P. So this is what they're asking in the question. All right. So let's do this. So first I'll write the given points. So I can write given points are. So the two points were what? 2 comma 3. And other point is minus 1 comma 5. All right. So let's say the P X comma Y there would be a point in a locus. Okay. So, I uh, will even write the condition that right angle at P. So, right here, given condition is angle, I will just take is angle APB equal to 90 degrees. So, that is what they gave, right? Angle P. So, we will write that as angle APB equal to 90 degrees. So in such case, this is exactly in the form of Pythagoras theorem, right? So we can write that as AP square plus PB square equal to AB square, right? So as this is a right angle, so the sum of these two sides, that is AP square plus this BP square, that is giving us AB square, right? So we'll just use this particular thing and we'll try to solve this. So as this is a triangle, that is from right angle triangle right what is the triangle p a b so we got this condition so that is a p square plus b p square equal to a b square right so let's do this so here if you see this is in the form of distance between two fine formula and this is also distance between two points this is also distance between two points all right so the distance between two points in the sense for AP square, if I just take over here, uh, this is A and P I'm writing here. So this is A and this is P. So P is X comma Y and A is 2 comma 3. So this I'll take X1, Y1 and P I'll just take X2, Y2. So let's do in the first case. So first I'll apply the formula. X2 minus X1 all square plus Y2 minus Y1 all square. So this is for AP square. So we'll do the same for uh, uh, PB square also. So for PB square, I'm writing over here. This is B and this is P. So P is X comma Y and it comes to B that is minus one comma five. So this B is X1, Y1, P is X2, Y2, all right? So this also I'll write in the formula X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. So that we wrote for PB square. So we'll write the same for AB square also. For AB square, I'll write here AB square. So this is A and this is B. All right. So the A point was what? 2 comma 3 and the B point is minus 1 comma 5. Okay. So here also for AB square also, the points we could just take one as X1 and another one X2. So I can write this as X2 and this is Y2. This is X1. This is Y1. All right. So here also I'll apply the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let's do this. I'll make it more simple. Uh, I hope that will be clear to you. That is AP square. So we are doing this particular figure now. So x1, y1, x2, y2 is clearly given. So just submit directly. So I can write this as x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Uh, so this we did for the first line that is AP square. Now we'll do for this one BP square. All right. So here also X1, Y1, X2, Y2 are already given clearly. So I'll just sub submit this directly. So I can write this as X plus one. This is minus into minus plus. So this is X plus one whole square. So this is Y minus five whole square. All right. So this is equal to now we have done with this. So now we'll write this AB uh, line. All right. 
So let's do this. So these values are clearly written x1 y1 x2 y2. So let's submit that I can write 2 plus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square. So in this case we can take anything x2 y2 anything as x1 y1 in all of the three cases. So let's solve this forward. So if you just see here this is a minus b whole square, this is a minus b whole square, this is a plus b whole square, this is a minus b whole square, this is a plus b whole square, this is a minus b. In, in overall we have two formulas used here. One is a plus b whole square. So the formula is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Another formula used is a minus b whole square which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. All right. So let's try to solve this particular problem. So I can write here this is in the form of a minus b whole square. So I can write x square plus 2 square minus 2 into x into 2. So this is one of the values. This is another one that is a minus b whole square. So I can write this as y square plus 3 square minus 2 into y into 3. Then this is in the form of a plus b whole square. So I can write this as x square plus 1 square plus 2 into x into 1. All right. So this is in the form of a minus b whole square. So I can write this as y square plus phi square minus 2 into y into phi equal to. So this is 2 plus 1 which is 3. So I can write 3 square and this is 3 minus 5 which is uh, minus 2 whole square. All right. So let's try to solve this forward. So I can write this as x square plus 2 square is 4 minus 2 2 is a 4. So this is 4x. So this is y square plus 3 square is 9 minus 2 3 is a 6y plus this is x square plus 1 plus 2x. So this is y square. This I'm doing now plus 5 square is 25 minus 2 phi is a 10y equal to 3 square is 9. Uh, plus minus 2 whole square that is nothing but 4 because this is whole square even the minus will become plus So let's write in sequence. So I can write x square uh, This is 1 2 times x square was there. So I can write this as 2 x square and here also 2 times y square is there So I can write 2 y square when it comes to the x term So here is minus 4 x and this is plus 2 x. So this will be minus 2 x plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 x So then we will write the y terms now so here is minus 6y and here is minus 10y. So we'll be getting this as minus 16y. All right. So now we'll find these values that is here 4 plus and this is plus 9, 4 plus 9 and plus 1 plus 25. All right. So if you just add all these values, we are getting the value as 39. All right. So we have written everything that is equal to 9 plus 4, which is 13. So we'll write everything in sequence 2x square plus 2y square minus 2x minus 16y plus 39. And if this 13, if I'm bringing to the other side, this is becoming minus 13. All right. So I can write this as 2x square plus 2y square minus 2x minus 16y. So this one 39 minus 13 in the sense will be getting the value as 26 equal to 0. All right. So after solving all these values, we are getting the equation as 2x square plus 2y square minus 2x minus 16y plus 26. All right. So from all of this, uh, we can just observe 2 is a common. So I'll just take 2 common. So x square plus y square minus x minus 2 8 is 16. So this is 8. And this is two ones and this is two threes. So I took two common. If I send this two to the other side, that is zero by two is zero. So final equation obtained x square plus y square minus x minus eight y plus 13 equal to zero. So this is the final equation which is obtained. So let's write the conclusion. Therefore, the locus of P x comma y is x square plus y square minus x minus 8y plus 13 equal to 0. So this is the final equation which is obtained for the point P. Okay. So they have given the two points A and B in the right angle triangle and they didn't give any values for point P. And by using this particular information, they asked us to find out the equation of this point P, which is at right angle triangle. All right. So after solving, we got this particular equation. So this is all about this particular question.